When I first saw Sarah, her body condition was very poor and her overall orthopedic condition was very severe. The minute I walked up to that cage and I saw Sarah's eyes and Sarah was looking at me, I knew right away that I needed to help this dog. And I said, I want that dog. That's the dog I want. So the veterinarian in charge uh, said, are you sure you want that dog? Uh, we're going to probably euthanize her tomorrow. She's kind of a lost cause. And I said, yes, I want that dog. She was pretty beat up. She had a lot of uh, hind limb uh, skin lesions. We assumed it was probably a road traffic accident. Called my uh, veterinarian in Hollywood, Dr. John D. And I said, John, uh, I'm coming up. I got this dog. Uh, she's absolutely devastated. I said, whatever you have to do, let's do to make this dog 100%. And these cases are either managed with amputation or if you try to salvage the limb, which is what we did in the case of Sarah, we end up doing a fusion or an arthrodesis. But fusions are long, drawn out, tedious affairs. Typically three to four months to get a fusion. If Philip had not come along, her prognosis would have been extremely poor. She would not have been, as a general rule of thumb, a very adoptable individual because her medical surgical needs were extensive. Sarah was here for a couple of months. That's a tall order to ask of an individual that is taking a stray or unknown owner pet. So Sarah's prognosis, uh, short of Philip Levine, uh, very, very poor. And within a very short period of time, uh, Sarah came here and she was living at my house and that's been her home ever since. Uh, my biggest problem with Sarah these days is convincing her that she can't sleep on my bed every single night. She has her own bed with the other two dogs and she's a great dog. She swims every day, she plays with the other dogs. Uh, I take her to my office with me a lot and she loves being in the office. and. Uh, She's turned out to be a, a special Sarah. That's what I call her, and I love her. She's one of the greatest dogs ever. We're grateful to have people like Philip Levine uh, assume the responsibility for patients like this. Everybody wants to be the Good Shepherd, but very few people want to assume the responsibility that goes with it. The best thing that ever happened to Sarah in her lifetime was her new benefactor because she needed lots of support and it's not very likely that she would have received it without Philip. And she's doing incredibly well, I'm happy to say.